So now we're going to look at a file server and serving files. And so uh, here's Funk main. And one of the one things I always start out with is just HP listen and serve. And listen and serve is going to take uh, address colon 8080 and default serve mux nil. It means we're using default serve mux. And I need to add some rat routes. I'm going to handle Funk. And everything coming in, I'm just going to put to IDX. Index actually will be better. And Funk index. And it's going to take a HTTP response writer and a request pointer to an HTTP request. And that's because the web is all about requests and responses. And then I'm going to copy this. Maybe, maybe not. So we want to serve some files. Let's say I have an image there. So let me just find an image. And I will copy this assets folder and drop it in up there. Cool. So I have an assets folder. Whoa, that's a lot of assets in that assets folder. I don't want all those assets. That was the wrong assets folder. So I'm going to go with this assets folder. I just want one image. Cool. All right, so the next thing I, I need to do is I want to create a little page that serves that file. So to do that, if I'm going to show that here, I'm going to do this, and then header and set, and content type. And then we're going to do the content type is going to be uh, what text, HTML, and then it's also then coding deal, and so uh, HTTP, uh, HTTP header wiki headers wiki, HTTP headers wiki, header fields, content type. Yeah, are you tripping out on that gentry? Text HTML car set UTF dash eight. Car set U, uh, UTF dash A. Did I type that right? Car set equals UTF dash A. All right, so that's that. And now I'm going to uh, do a W uh, IO dot write string. And I'm going to write to uh, I'm going to write to uh, my, my response. And uh, what I'm going to write is going to be image image source is equal to double quotes end and the source is going to be resources and it's going to be toby dot jpeg okay and so now well, that doesn't make sense it's in the assets folder but I just want to show you strip prefix and it's easier to see when you do it like this so now we're going to do an HTTP handle handle and handle takes a pattern in the handler so anything coming in at resources, right? Anything coming in at resources and down the path, which is what that forward trailing slash means, I'm going to have ha uh, handled by HTTP. I'm going to do strip prefix, and uh, and then inside strip prefix, strip prefix takes a prefix and a handler. So the prefix that I'm going to strip out is going to be forward slash resources. And so that means that when this request comes in to my server, right, it's going to be handled by this, because that handles everything at that path and down that line, you know, resources forward slash anything. And then I'm going to strip off resources. So this is going to get stripped off right there. So I'm going to be left with a forward slash Toby JPEG. And where do I want that serve from? HTTP file server. And file, well, that's not it. HTTP file server. File server takes a root system. So we have HTTP dir, right? And HTTP dir is a type, and we give it a directory. And we're going to say everything inside the assets folder. I want that to serve. And, uh, and so what got stripped off here? This got stripped off. And when that got stripped off, that left forward slash Toby JPEG. Well, forward slash Toby JPEG is going to be served because file server is serving it from this directory assets. So really, it's, this is the path dot forward slash assets forward slash Toby dot JPEG after all of that happens. Okay? And so we're doing that so that we can isolate the folder that we're saying serve everything in this folder. So we could put folders inside assets. We could have a folder CSS. We could have a folder JPEG or a folder images. We could have a folder JS. 
and then we could stick all of our assets in there and then in our HTML we could do it. Now I'm showing you this with the resources being stripped out. Resources is the name of the folder or the name of the path that we're, we're stripping out. And I'm doing that because I just want to distinguish this thing. So let's, let's just watch. Let's just watch it run. It takes a little bit of time to wrap your head around that. So, you know, it's a good idea just to like pause the video right here and reflect on it for a minute. Like, why do we even need to strip off the prefix? If it came in at forward slash resources, right, this path, if it came in at this path, why can't we just say serve everything in resources? And we could say handle this forward slash resources and then serve everything in forward slash resources and serve that there. Well, that's going to look into the resources folder if that was there and then try to serve this path, right? And so it's going to be like forward slash resources. I'll look in that folder and now I will serve resources. So it'll be forward slash resources, forward slash resources, forward slash Toby. And that's not the folder, right? So we really want to kind of strip that off and then, you know, just kind of catch what we need in there inside this folder. Does that make sense? And I do it with resources so you could see, like, this is getting stripped and it's different from the folder that's being served. So you could also just do it like this. And this is actually the preferred way to develop because then this will match, you know, often on your development machine as you're building your HTML. It'll find it in the assets folder, but then when you serve it, Right, it'll strip it off, but that's confusing for people because they see assets, assets, assets everywhere, and they're like, what? So the resources way first kind of makes more sense, and those examples are here in 023, 02, and all the examples there. You can find those on GitHub goes to 11. But the cost of doing that in Golang Web Dev is the directory, the repo. The cost of doing that is that you have to follow me on Twitter. So go follow me on Twitter because I'm trying to Twitter up. And, uh, and then if you want to watch all these videos, YouTube, Todd McCloud, and playlists. Playlists, fall 2016, Golang Web Programming. All right, so enough of that. And let's run it and see what happens. Oh, I needed that page. And I'm done with this page. I'm done with that page. All right, we're going to run this and see what happens. And CD. Why is that not doing it? I'm in Golang Web Dev. No, I'm not. And it's uh, change directories 33. Cool, served it. I hear that whistle blowing, coming down the line. I don't know the rest of the words. So uh, we could also change this to assets like we had it just a second ago. Cancel. And that would still work. Nice. All right, so that's a strip prefix and file server and how it all connects together and why it connects together that way. <laughs>